Okay, we've got Fancy's background done, the underpainting done, and today we're going to actually start by adding color. I'm going to begin by working on this white uh, chest blaze that uh, Fancy has, and then we'll move to the darker colors. This is a long-haired cat, so again, we're going to go with long strokes. Now, here's the situation. It's still going to be very... Sh um, this is a full body portrait as opposed to just the head. It's the full body. And so what that means is that this is going to go very, very quickly. And we have to be careful that we're not putting in a lot of detail. So let's get started right away. I want to go to a, uh, a gray white. And we're using acrylics here, as you know. And I'm going to go ahead and start off by using a one half inch width. I don't think it's, in, especially with the white, it's not appropriate to use the larger two brushes, which is the three quarter and the five eight. So I'm going to start out with the white. So we'll just go ahead and get some white gesso. I like using that color. Uh, I do use the titanium mixed with a bit of uh, lemon yellow, cad yellow, when we do the brights. But to put the basic white in, I want to use gesso. It acts like a medium and a paint all at once. And we'll go ahead and take a little bit of that gesso, or that paint's gray, and put it in the gesso. See how beautiful that gets? Okay, I think we need just a little more white on that. There we go. That's a good color. And there we are. Chin's right here under... See that? Whoa! When you go that high, just take a nice Q-tip with a little bit of water in it and just come right over. You have to do this. With oils and others, it's okay to just take your finger and do that. But with acrylics, it dries so quickly. All right, see? Short stro uh, long strokes, see that? Long, long strokes. Long hair, long strokes. Short hair, short strokes. We need more medium and less paint. Okay, so we'll just see how I'm doing that. Just get some of this medium. This is acrylic medium by Adler. Okay, there we go. And we'll just bring that right around. And it comes right up into there. See that? All right. And we'll just bring it right down to the dark. Now, acrylics dries pretty quick anyway, so we're going to have a lot of fun. You can almost paint your pet in a day, whereas with other mediums, you have to wait for it to dry in between session. So we have a lot more fun with acrylics. Which one you do, just depends on which ones you like. I have decided to concentrate only on three mediums just so that I can make sure I do a good job in them. See that? Long, 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 long strokes. There we go. I want to make sure my hand's out of the way for you. Don't want my videographer getting mad at me again. He's always finding reasons. I want everybody to send him an email and say, hey, Joe, let up on Daryl. He's doing an okay job. That'd be funny. If they were only here to share this moment, <laughs> they would not send me an email. Did you hear that, guys? I'm really getting to have to... And I need your help. That's all I'm going to say. That's the end of that story. All right, see, so long hair, long strokes. Now this is, like I said, yesterday's was the most critical, most important. Today's, most of our cats end up in uh, uh, the ugly stage because we're just adding color. We're not really trying to do any detail. So, here we go, see that? There he is. Okay, well, we'll reload and go down to the feet here in about a second, like right now. So just get a little bit of that paint. Notice how I'm not using a lot of paint. 
It was interesting. I got a phone call from someone who says, you know something? How much paint do you load down? Because you seem to go on forever with your uh, painting, but with the paint you put on your uh, palette. But I don't. But yours don't look that big. Well, that's just a function of experience, okay? Uh, you learn how much to put. Not that we use less or more, but we learn how much to use. Okay, see that now? The hairs are going to go to the side, almost like a cascade. See that on his feet? All right, there we go. This is a, a important step, but simple. And our cats are kind of ugly afterwards. All of our pets are. But I like this step. It's one of my fun steps that I really enjoy. All right, let's stand back and take a look and see what we've got. Okay, well, I think we're going to go back under the chin and uh, and put a little bit of uh, shadow in there. So let's take a little more of this uh, Payne's Gray. See, just make a darker gray. For shadows, all we're doing is making a darker gray. Now, we don't want it to be blue. But we do want it a little darker. Ah, there we go. I think that will work well. And a little touch of the brown, just to neutralize the blue. There we go. All right, I'm going to take a paper towel and just, because I only want a little bit of it. I don't want a lot. Okay, let's come back here to where the neck is. See that? There we are. You know, Fancy was sent to me by one of our students. And beautiful cat. I really like it. And it looks like Fancy gets her run of the house because sitting right on uh, the owner's desk. I can tell from the telephone. Here, just take a look at it. All right, see right underneath the uh, uh, chin and everything how Fancy has shadows right in there. So we're just going to go ahead and add that. Now look down just past her knees. Okay, see that blaze? It's got a little shadow in there. So let's go ahead and put a little shadow in here. See that? Just quickly put it in. Now, there's shadows here and there throughout. Let's take a look at the uh, painting again, or at the photo. See all the whites? The reason you're seeing the whites is notice in between the little clumps of uh, fur all those little darks. So what we're going to do is take a little bit of this dark, see, just like this. And watch this. I'm going to turn the brush sideways. And it doesn't matter where you put them. Just put a few. And when you start to add the fur, that's going to pay you dividends. Better than AT&T or General Motors will. Okay, now with that done, let's clean our brush. And I'll go over here to the water. Okay. And wipe it out with the paper towel. Now I'm going to take some of the Payne's Gray alone. Alrighty. See that? Payne's Gray. And a little bit of the burnt umber. And some of the medium just to thin it out. Again, very, very small amount of uh, paint. This is the clear medium I like using. Okay, let's come on up to the canvas. Okay, since we started with the chest, let's go back to it, see? Again, these are long strokes, see like that? So we'll just start in here. We'll worry about some of the highlights later. But right now, see, whoa, whoa, whoa. Just make those strokes long, come right up to the uh, edge right where that see when you go over this with it doesn't matter because we're going to have long hairs that go ahead and fill that in all right so anyway 
There we are. And we'll just come right up to the foot and stop right there with the white. Now, t tomorrow when we do the de face fur and details and features, I guess, um, you'll see how we can then create the looks of all those long hairs going over. Right now we're just trying to get the basic color of the cat in. Okay, and and preserve the shadows. So it's color and shadows. Or better yet, I guess a better way is the color and highlight. See, and a little bit of the medium, or per number, paints gray, and now the medium. All right. When I first started doing painting, people really wanted me to do them in acrylic. They said, we can find a lot of instructors that do animals and oils but really want someone to take all those cool techniques and put them into acrylic so while we do it our pet series or decided to do them i said let's do them in all three not just acrylics not just oils all right i'm going to load up and go back up to the uh, head The main thing is he's got a nice, really bright black right in here. So again, I'm just using the one half inch brush or the number uh, four. There we go, just like that. Now, let's start with the ears. Now, I'm not gonna do the inside ears with this black. Again, long strokes and coming right down. And we'll come right up to the eyes, but not do the eyes. The black cap, but the inside of the ears are a different color. All right, there we go. Grab a little more of this paint, a little of the medium. And again, see that? And then it comes right up here. And we'll come along this line. And he's got a little bit of a, yeah, there we go. And short strokes, short, a uh, long strokes, long strokes, long strokes. It's just that these long strokes look like short strokes because it's such, we're doing a full body portrait. All right. There we go. See how easy that is? Now, this here is getting dry fast. So that gives you an idea of just how fast you can put together a painting with acrylics. Okay, getting a little bit more. And let's come down here with the nose like this. And we'll come right up to that dark, already super dark nose. Going right around. Now the super dark nose has not been painted with black. It's only been painted with uh, burn umber. So you will need to add that color. So let's add it. Let's take it. And just with the corner of my brush, I'm gonna put his nose in. Okay. There we are. See how easy that was? Okay, where else? Right over here, we've got a patch of black right there on the side. Just a little patch of black. I don't know why, but it's there. Okay. Now, the only thing left is the ears and the eyes. So I'm going to take some more of this dark black and I'm going to fill in the pupils. Okay, and then with the chiseled edge, we'll come right around the eye, just like that. See that? Okay, well, minus a lot of fur, flowing fur, Hal, this is looking pretty good. Now we need to add a lighter, uh, color in here for the ears. And so what I'm going to do is take the same color that we have, but without white, 
but more medium and stretch it out so it's a very light light gray okay look at the photo see that it's almost a pinkish gray we'll get the pinks in when we do the detail but right now I want to pretty much worry about just getting a lighter color in there a light almost charcoal like color so there we go see that Ooh, how nice that is don't you just love it when the plan comes together it also helps to paint this a couple of times all right there we go you're going to learn here a systematic series of a tackling any pet you'd like to tackle all right let's stand back and see what we've got 